Hello and welcome back to Mist 5 End of Ages. This is Melody Lynn. We are continuing on. We've done two of the ages and now we're getting ready to go hunt down the third one. We got the, um, I believe we have the fans going. As we, I believe that's them right there. As we delve deeper into the ages. If we push that, we can go down. Um, I just want to double check because it's been a while and I'm not remembering exactly. We did do this one, right? This one right here? Let's just go take a peek because I can't remember. It says it's age three and that's why I'm curious. Because I honestly, I do not remember. We did do this one, right? On the beach. I believe Yes, it's got all the little marks done. Okay. So, we've actually done three of them, haven't we? I've lost count. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I just, it's been a while. But we did the first one. We did the space, and we did the one on the beach. So we're going to go down and see if we can find this fourth slab. Slate. This is very noisy. As we go back down. is so shiny it, uh, it almost gives the appearance of being see-through but it's not it's just reflecting what's up there okay that is not open so we can't go in there to figure out where we're going now. Because I could have sworn it was in there. So it must have to do with these buttons. Because I don't know what else we would use. down. Can't click that. I mean, if 
if we're going deeper, we're going deeper, right? Okay, another Yi ship book. Home was far behind. I was no longer a child. I journeyed deep, deep within myself, deep within the earth, down to the Dene Cavern. I was alone for a time as I consumed my heritage, breathing deep the air of the cavern and the knowledge of my people. But the desire for companionship drove me mad. I engaged a Senamar as my confidant, and a treadfish in the harbor became my younger brother. I spoke to them as family, and they answered. I swear, they answered. Then my mind took a final step into madness when I walked into the library on Agura and saw an old Dene man on the floor below me. Now I was imagining people to ease my loneliness. But he was no mirage. His name was Callum, and he was a Dene writer of ages. Trust did not come easily. There was conflict between us, between his ancient rules of Dene, that I did not respect, and my creativity, which he feared. We fought and feared and battled and screamed until exhausted. We began to learn from each other. We learned of the power of both, just as father and mother had done. So I learned to write with all the skills that the Denis had known, beyond what my parents had taught me, for their lessons were given by a flawed instructor and by their own trial and error. I learned to write from a master, an opportunity father was never given. Callum's abilities were breathtaking. He knew all the Dene knew when Dene fell. But I taught as well as learned. There were things that the Dene were forbidden to write, words they feared, concepts they shunned, rules and boxes. I had no cultural fear of such things, so I dug deeper asking questions that Callum could not answer. And together, we sought answers. That is how we learned of the Barrow and the Tablet. I learned of its power. We grew in knowledge and strength, and Callum became one of my dearest friends. I began to think that it was he who would be the grower. But evil will find you, even in the depths of the earth. And Callum was murdered. Ooh. Now we have a murder mystery and three more books yet to find. Okay, let's see what we have down here. Oh, there we go, a tunnel. And something up there that we can't quite reach. we can't get over the pipes so let's pull the lever oh we started another band okay a big fan so we can go deeper is this a button no it's just a Okay, we started another van and a ladder came down. Look at that. And the tunnel behind the closed door, looky. Can we open it from here? This was the one that had the broken latch over here. No, this is okay. I see where we are. But we do have a book, another book. 
for Yisha to read to us. Tell us more of the story. Power is a gift. Power is a curse. I learned of the fearsome power I wield on that day. The day of Callum's death. In a fit of rage, I destroyed the murderer and I destroyed my innocence. And again, I learned that most things cannot be returned to how they were. And my power continued to grow even as I began to see that the prophecies of the grower might speak of me. My destiny began to be fulfilled. But there was still more. The least abused, mistreated, misunderstood, ignored. They were mocked and scorned and their hearts still show their pain. But they continue to serve. Such power they have, and yet they serve. They treated me with kindness, and I learned from them. They respected what I was becoming. With them, I learned new laws, new rules, and new powers. I used the powers to care for a tree to come, and the tablet allowed me to grow beyond Tiana, beyond father and mother, beyond Denis, beyond Callum. The tablet held them. The tablet chained them. The tablet held me. The tablet empowered me. I watched with them. I waited with them. I learned with them. I called them from captivity and grew while they gathered. Together we became both weak and strong. And then my time came. My time to take the tablet. My time to choose. I was ready. I felt the pull of holding it, of channeling and releasing the full power of the Baro. I would right the wrongs. I would set things the way they should be. I would choose well. I could not fail. I am the grower. I was so sure, so strong, so wise. But I didn't open myself and listen to the Maker. The noise of me drowned his quiet voice. And I failed. Failed to see anything beyond myself and what was obvious. And pain came quickly when I realized what I had done. The tablet returned and the Baro continued to serve. The pain still burns me. But the powerful borrow simply wait and suck. Pain is often how we learn. But it is not for us to give. We are not the teachers. We must not abuse them. We must not abuse the borrow. Okay. Okay, we have a new symbol to write down. And... I dropped my pen, so I need to, whoops, excuse me, all the noise there. Um, need to grab a new one and write this down. That's that snake symbol and I suppose a person that's turning their back on a snake symbol. Let me find where I have put my notes. So I wonder if that's the one of fear, maybe, or... Um, pain or fear? We'll find out. We know that they don't like the snakes from before. So, keeping that in mind, let's continue our explorations. What have we got here? Just making sure we don't miss things. There's the way back down. It's another, um, I don't even know what you call this area. There's, it can be turned on. 
That door seems to be closed, but this one's open. So let's go in here and see the last book. I think it's the last book. And there's a Yisha book and a Yisha recording. So let's do the recording first. What am I left with? Why did he leave this weight on me? Did I ask for this? Did I ask to lose my brothers? Did I ask to cause the death of Callum? Did I ask to watch my mother die? Did I ask to be my father's tool? Did I ask for so much power? Did I ask to be so alone? Father, I wish you could hold me. Oh, she's lonely. Lonely and a little bitter. I know what to do. I see it so clearly. One more chance to determine the destiny of the tablet. I can feel it. To be so close and yet so powerless, it drives me mad. The tablet sits there holding the power of the Baro captive, and I alone know what to do. I failed once, but what does that mean? Why am I punished when I could accomplish so much? The rules seem so arbitrary, some game of the Maker that only he understands. This legacy of failure. And now I see this final chance to right generations of wrong, to unleash the power that has been held for thousands of years. It is at my fingertips. I know what must be done, but I cannot speak of it for fear that it will somehow break the rules, tarnish the heart, taint the act, soil the innocence. I had a dream. I am carrying the seed of Denis, the seed of all things that are Denis, through a small cave. I come to a place where the path stops. There are two holes, one above me and one below me. And through the hole below, I can see the Denis Cavern in the great city. And through the hole above, I can see the sky and sun. A voice calls to me. In which hole will you plant the seed? And I know it is easy to drop the seed in the hole below. And I know it is impossible to throw the seed through the hole above. I call out to the voice asking for wisdom. And the voice answers me. Do not drop the seed in the hole below, for that is easy. But that is the way of the past. Do not throw the seed in the hole above, for that is difficult. And that is the task for another. In which hole will you plant the seed? And I know what to do. And I know I am the grower. Okay, which means we are definitely going to have a choice. We must have missed a book somewhere. I want to go back and see if we can find where we missed that book. Because we want to make sure we get all the books. I didn't see it through here. Was it out here? We got the one that was down there. We'll just do a quick run through because I just do want to make sure that we get all the books and the full story. My dogs, of course, are having their little playful morning like they do. I have puppies. They're, one's like 10 months old and the other one is about three months old. So, they like to play. They get a little noisy. 
Well, I don't know where the book is that we might have missed. It's not absolutely necessary to collect all the books. It's just, you know, you want to be complete. I want to be complete. Is it over here? Yep, there it is. That's the one we missed. How could I have not seen the true path? I see it now so clearly. But can I get another chance to make things right? They came. They came to Denis, those who felt cold. I knew they would. I was prepared for them, and I pointed the way. I spoke often of the pride of Denis, of their belief in their own power and strength, and the reason that Denis once fell. And a few understand, and they begin to follow me. I am the grower. I would lead them to rebuild. Yet another burden. But what is the task of a grower? My father wrote another age, but I see that the tree is not a place, but a people. The heart of a people. That is what must grow. If only I had another chance to make things right. The tablet is the key. How could I have failed? So I suppose that is what we will be fixing, is her, where she failed. So, we have another door to open, but we have no, there it is, right there. And we can't pick it up. So we have no way to open the door. What about this one? Is that the one we came from? That's the one we came from. Let's check out this door. Okay. There's the book. And off we go to the fourth age that we must complete in order to complete the tablets. We'll take it with us and off we go. Now we know Yisha's full story. I suppose we'll meet Yisha here. And hear what he has to say. It looks like kind of tropical. It is kind of tropical. And where is Ishur? I know he's not going to leave us alone for long. There he is. I wish you could see Lachian as I remember it. Anticipation. The calls of the beasts bellowing out over the warm airs. And conversations as we waited for the fires to burn. The battle to begin. This was a place of great strength and triumph. I wonder if you possess such courage. The door to the trade house is locked, but the jeweler door on the other side, that can be unlocked. told us that we can unlock that door over there in some way. And we've got a piece of paper here. Let me get to my notes and jot this down because everything is important. Well, not everything, but something like that would be 
So it seems. Those different shapes. All right. We've got them jotted down. I don't see where I can place my tablet except there at the beginning. So we're just going to take it with us. Doesn't this look cool and relaxing? Oh, we got to figure out how to get around there, don't we? It's not as easy as just walking around, of course. We are in a mist game. They're not going to make it that easy. Okay, we've got the bones of animals. And we have a tablet symbol. <laughs> and a funny little birdie. Hi, funny little birdie. You only have one foot? No, you have two feet. You just hop from. It's an awful big head. Yes, it is. Okay. Three wavy lines is what we are going to draw on our tablet. And we'll see what that does. If it's going to take us somewhere, or if it's going to cause something to happen. Maybe the wind to blow. I don't know. But we're going to find out. Yep, it caused the wind to blow. Now, can we pull that? No, we can't reach it. Oh, boy. It's like a sandstorm. I'm sure there's a reason we want that to happen. Oh, look at this. Let's go inside of here. This, but I bet that houses are in goal. I'm sure we want to go through here. We just need to figure out how to open it up. We have a hole, and the wind stopped. We'll see if we need to get it going again. But we're on the other side of the fence now. I did another funny little birdie. It's like he's leading us almost, isn't it? Interesting little structure. I'm just exploring because that is what you do in these games. And we don't want to miss anything. Okay, look what is this? Controls, of course. We'll just start pulling things and see what happens. Absolutely nothing, I wonder. Did we need 
that pulled first. I wonder if we need the wind. Might work on wind power. solid. Okay, let's draw that. It's a triangle. I try to draw straight lines. And okay, so much for straight lines. Hopefully they'll take it anyway. Let's see. go around anyway back here so we can pick up the tablet. Hello little happy bird. I still want to pull that, huh? Do you? But we can't get up there to see it just yet. I suppose eventually we'll get up there, won't we? Can we cut across the water? We can. Save us a few little steps. Alright, let's go get our tap. Our slate. again. Thank you. 
so it seems. Because I don't see another opening. Is there an opening over there? Well. We'll just turn it again. a way to get into the building. I think those symbols are the way to get into the building. We'll have to do that later. I'm sure that's coming up. I keep thinking that little rock is something. Okay. Back over here. our tablet, don't we? To make the wind. Oh my gosh. Okay. Running back over there. Can we fit through there? Doesn't it seem like we could? Maybe not. We could just knock the wall down. That doesn't look like a very sturdy wall. But of course this is not going to allow us to do that. So we'll go grab our tab tablet, slap, slate, if I could get the right word. We can still use this, but we're going to turn this again. And see if we can't get to some other location that would be just a little more helpful. said we don't want to miss anything. Miss the hole. There we go. It's getting to be nighttime. Okay, let's create a wind. We don't want to anymore. Put it on the pedestal. 
pedestal for us. Now we run around and get there ourselves. Surprise the water's not dripping. Oh, it's the word I want. Whipping up. done now. See if we can get anywhere or if we're just stuck in here. And we can't even go in there. I can't even step down from here. Okay, so this is perplexing. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little bit of playing around and I will come back and I will show you how I solved it in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.